Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be going over how to upgrade the firmware for your Samsung G93SC 49 inch widescreen monitor. And to do this, we're going to need two things. We're going to need a USB drive and something to connect your USB drive to the back of the monitor. All right. And so I'll show you how to do that. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is download the firmware onto this USB drive here. So I'm going to plug this USB drive into the computer. Then I'm going to open the file explorer folder, open the USB drive, make sure it's empty and I'm going to format it to FAT32, make sure it's formatted to that. So we're going to start that. Okay, the format is complete. The second thing we're going to do is we're going to download the software directly onto the USB drive. So to do that, we're going to open the, the internet browser, go to the Samsung page. Here we're going to go to support and we're going to go to manuals and software. And here we're going to type in the model number for the screen. In this case is the G. 93SC and that should pop up over here. Let's see, make sure we select the right one, which is this one, G93SC. Okay, and now that we're here, it's going to give us the firmware, uh, software, drivers, user manuals, and so on. What we're interested is, the, is in the firmware. Before we download it, Confirm that the model number on your monitor is matches the model number listed here. So to do that, you would need to access the uh, menu for the monitor and go all the way down to support. Go to the right, go to information and make sure that this number for the model code LS49CG932SNXZA is the same as this one. And in this case it is. And so I'm going to download that firmware, download, go to the downloads folder. Let's go to downloads, which is right here. And then we're going to open this up and we are going to copy this right click copy and then we're going to paste it into the e drive or the usb drive that we plugged in click this button here there we go now that we have the firmware installed on the flash drive we have to connect the flash drive to the back of the monitor and this here is the picture of the back of the monitor and on one of the sides you see three usb c ports and the one we want to plug it into is the one that's labeled services. You can see right here, it says service. And because it's a USB-C port, we can't directly plug the USB-A flash drive in it. So we have to use an adapter and you can purchase one on, online. Uh, this is a USB-C to USB-A adapter. And so we'll plug in the flash drive in the USB-A side. And then we'll pl plug the USB-C side in the back of the monitor in the service port up here. Okay, so let me do that now. Okay, so you can see the USB drive is plugged into the back of the monitor in the service port. The next thing we got to do and the last thing is we have to go to the uh, menu in the monitor. So go up, menu, go all the way down to support, go to the right, go to software update. And currently we have uh, the firmware which is 1004.0. We're going to be up upgrading that to 1007.1. So I'm going to click that and let's see searching for the flash drive, let's see if this works. There we go. So it detected the flash drive. A new version is available. Update from version 1004.0 to version 1007.1. So we're going to say OK. And now we're going to let it proceed. And what's going to happen is this is going through. It's going to shut down and we're going to wait.
let's check if the firmware update is complete. So to do that, I'm going to again go back to the menu, go down to support, go to the right, go to information, go to the right. And now you can see the new version is here. It's 1007.1. So the update was successful. What they recommend on the manual is actually to uh, turn off the, the uh, monitor and unplug it from the power cord. Like this, turn it off. Now I'm gonna plug it back in. There we go, let's start it up again. And that should do it guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do hit the like and subscribe button. And until next time.